Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion plays the Bond of Isaac after birth. Last episode a little dicey. This episode, very strange. Very strange to begin with. Empty vessel. Uh, it really seems like we have a ridiculously fast rate of fire, even though the stat screen appears to be lying about that. Two RJN G12L, and then we have three spirit hearts, two black hearts. So if I can draw the, um, if I can draw the, the chain of events here out, we must have started with zero HP, but three spirit hearts, which is, as far as, um, starting with zero HP goes, it's actually pretty generous that they would, uh, give us three spirit hearts along with it. Any chance we could... I mean, I don't mind spending my, uh, Are You a Wizard time shooting that and hoping to get something valuable out of it. We could also use High Priestess on ourselves to try to get that Tinted Rock, but I figured maybe just use it here and then use our, uh, bombs from the Wrath Fight to drop this and hope for Small Rock. But I'll take anything except for that. Okay. Um, yeah, and then, so then we spawn in our items, we get the D10, which is obviously not particularly good. Uh, or, or good at all, and then we get Empty Vessel, which is amazing, and also comes with two black cards. So I'm pretty sure that's the way that this went down. Uh, I have no idea why... Maybe it's just a combination of a good stat screen? Or, uh, sorry, a good tier stat, and then also, um, high shot speed. That makes me think that, like, for some reason our rate of fire is ridiculous, but I think it could be, like, almost an optical illusion. Okay. Wait a minute, have they reworked the D10s with rerolls enemies into different enemies, like, of the same type? Because we rolled flies into flies. What about on this room? Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe there's something more to this. Maybe they've changed it. I don't think so, though. Really good, yeah, take a, a full heart of damage um, fighting some very basic enemies. We are going to get rid of the D10 for flush, which I think is substantially better. At least we got a spirit heart on that room, so we're still at five hearts, even if they're five hearts of, you know, somewhat worse quality. And then we just use flush, and it has flooded this room. I think I knew that this happened, but it's still a little strange. Because um, we're on the... Burning base? No, I don't know. I have no idea why. Maybe this is new. I don't know anything about this game, alright? You think I follow this patch notes for this stupid fucking game? I'm just joking with you. It's the greatest game of all time. God willing, man. Um, let's check for secret rooms. I'm not really in a rush to get out of this floor until we, you know, maybe see everything there is to see. And now with 19 cents, I'm definitely interested in going to our shop. And... I don't want the Bible. We can already fly as long as we don't take HP. Uh, I mean, I thought about buying the other card. To be honest with you, it's probably worth buying the other card. But I want to keep Get Out of Jail Free. Because Get Out of Jail Free um, allows us to get into a room that we would otherwise be unable to get into. I don't know if we can use it to get into a deal with the devil or something on this floor. But either way, I think there's a lot of value inherent in this card that we could, we could milk, but... We could get a five cent Joker card. We could get five cents for two keys. We could get five cents for two bombs. Or we can get five cents for, you know, like rules card or, or even nothing if we got two of hearts right now. This is um, probably pretty close to an ideal boss fight. We get a spirit heart. We get an orbital. The orbital works really well because we have invincibility for empty vessel. And as uh, is the Joker. So we'll get precedence and... Uh, feel like a Thame is the right choice here. Uh, you know what? If I could go back and do that again, I might take a little bit more time. I might come to the same decision, but I might take a little bit more time. Because as good as the Thame can be, and it really, it, it almost has like a gimpy sort of thing going with it where you can take advantage of being hit. Um, I also think that maybe Headless Baby is not so far off of its value proposition here. So, I mean, I in the end, I don't think it is going to matter too much which one of those we took. A Thame, I think, has the chance for, for bigger swings in the positive direction, but it also has a lot less consistency. Um, and, and it's not going to be useful for us on rooms where we don't get hit. And that's that's kind of a big deal, because, you know, my intention on this run is not to get hit very often. Although, to be fair, we do have um, Ball of Bandages, so I will probably play a little bit over-aggressive and, uh, as a result, take damage. So maybe a Thame is actually the right choice, but I don't know. You know, it's, it's a little weird. But uh, this is the ideal situation right here. We just get our invincibility. Uh, cracked dice. Which is not cracked dice. It's dice shard. Uh, very good for us here. 
pretty much no reason to use flush on the boss fight, so I think we explore and try to find our item room first, try to find our shop, hope to get maybe another spirit heart or something that we can, you know, use to our advantage here. Probably will do that. Don't mind, uh, is there a chest on this room? Or is that on the, that's on the room below us. Um, which we obviously were just in, but, uh, yeah, probably end up doing the mob trap room, boss trap room, especially because it's, it's two regular chests. Most of the time that'd be a negative, but we have not enough consumables to actually get inside of our uh, item room or shop. And no secret room can, is like geometrically or geographically possible to board them, so let's just come in here. And the more invincibility we can get, the better. Wow. We got Butt Penny. Not particularly strong, and Puberty, which does nothing for us. So I'd say we got kind of a whole lot of nothing right here. The next step is um, go to our arcade, and this would be a really good time for us to have like a bed on the arcade. To get three spirit hearts without having to invest any time or any resources beyond the penny to get into the room would be nice, but if it's just a regular arcade, I think we gamble until we get a key. Um, it's more than a regular arcade in some ways, but actually we can only play this guy, but you can sometimes get... Uh, invincibility. If we get invincibility, we could go on this pretty hard. Oh my god. So now, of course, they create a situation in which it feels like it might be the right decision for us to, uh, to take damage. That way we could get things from our fanny pack, but I don't think it's the right call. I guess instead... I don't really like the idea of using get out of jail free card for this relatively simple purpose, but I guess, you know, if it gives us an item or two, it's it's well worth it. So let's come in here and pop get out of jail free. It also found the secret room. I figured you'd come in here first just in case you need to get another key in order to get into the shop. I thought maybe the door would close. It didn't, but that's okay. Eden's Blessing. Awesome. Uh, some people not huge fans of Eden's Blessing on streaks because it can... Oh, Magic Mush, because it can give you a shitty item uh, on your next run and kind of screw you. I very much disagree. So we're not flying for now, uh, but we, we can change that very, very quickly. And this worked out extremely well for us. Still not flying. Okay, just checking. Um, we're going to now go finally fight this boss. And I think we've done some really good stuff. Hopefully we're able to give away some HP here. And not, not in the way that we just take damage against the haunt, but uh, hopefully we're able to get some HP here. Uh, Eden's Blessing, I was just going to finish my thought by saying, I like it not only for the absurdity, but also the 0.7 tiers upgrade. It's a little bit like the donation machine, you know, where we're robbing tomorrow, or possibly giving ourselves a good benefit tomorrow to get an advantage right now. PJ's is good, four spirit hearts, and then we will give away one HP for KMB Conception, and I do not feel like it's worth it to pick up the other one, and we probably should have rerolled it with Dice Shard, but maybe we'll save it for a situation in which we don't like either of the items that are in there. So this worked out really well, I think. And honestly, I, I hate to say it, I think Flush is actually doing all right for us here. I find if I don't see a spacebar item for a while and then I uh, use it, Sometimes I'm, I'm inclined to maybe improve my opinion of it, to be honest with you, and Flush in this situation is really helping me out there. This run is shaping up to be really, really good right now, and, you know, it really was because we went the extra mile. We got Eden's Blessing and Magic Mush and Fanny Pack as a result of going the extra mile on the last floor, and I think that helped us out a ton. I think we'd still probably be looking decent if we hadn't done that, but definitely the extra tiers and damage from Magic Mush is huge. I don't take Marked. If you're going to be salty about it, be salty about it. You know, you, you can rage against the good knight as long as you wish. I will not be taking Marked. I don't like it. I took it on the last run because we had Cursed Eye, and uh, I think Marked Cursed Eye might actually be a really good synergy. But uh, I'm not taking it in an environment like this. And if that makes you angry, then, you know... Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things we can do without, you know? Oh, but you flushed him down the toilet there. How was that the first time I'm seeing that? Um, at this point, you know, I'm, I'm not really thinking that we're rushing, but I'm like, why wouldn't I just go finish this floor right now? Poker chip. I don't know if poker chip is good. 
I think poker chip may just actually be like 50 50 like if you if you get good rolls it could be good otherwise you're better off not having it I am gonna take magic scab and I know you might be saying well you're gonna give up empty vessel I know but we got a great chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor I think sometimes you gotta dance with the devil in the pale moonlight you know I think you gotta except you might miss out on um, flying for a little bit and maybe get more of an advantage in a different area later. That's the, that's my hope anyway. All right, please do not jump yet. I'd really like to hit you with my cuba meat. Should not have stood still. I really thought he was going to track onto my earlier situation. Okay, you know what? This is a bad. It's a good learning experience, but this is bad damage to be taking. You don't shoot the curb shots, right? Please tell me you just Monstro's Lung. That's fine. Uh, HP's still good. We got keys. I'm disappointed by the uh, damage we took in there, but in the end, oh well. Flush, I'd like to save for a larger... You know what? I don't like these enemies. I was going to save it for a larger room. Fuck it. Let's use it on this room. And we got a dime out of that as well, I think. And then I was going to say, watch me hate this room as well. I do hate this room. I, you know what? In the interest of being 100% honest, kind of wish I'd save flush. But this is good practice nonetheless. Look at the size of that little turd back there. For not using flush, we sure got our hands on a lot of shikaka. A lot of shiitake mushrooms. I'm going to try a double key room. And bloody penny is okay. Even if it's not immediately extremely useful. Now I'm envisioning like, you know, Dice Shard plus uh, Bloody Penny plus pennies from an arcade. Like if we find an arcade with a blood bank uh, on it that we can actually play the Christ out of. Ooh, that was lucky. Then I do think we can maybe get a better use out of the Dice Shard than is typical. But I also feel like maybe we should just use it on the deal with the devil. Uh, and, and get extra deal with the devil items, especially in a situation where like we can get uh, more than one guppy out of, item out of it I think it's pretty valuable, but there was a big risk to that. I did use both of my keys uh, In order to get into that room, so I got really lucky that we actually have a uh, Secret room adjacent item room in this situation relax 48 hour energy 48 hour energy with flush is fine. Oh, it's not adjacent to our item room. It's adjacent to our freaking uh, our uh, spike room here, self-sacrifice room, my mistake. Okay, first key, go in the shop. If it's greed, it's greed. It's greed. Found a creative way to say it's greed ten times in a row. If it's greed, it's greed. It's greed. Agreed. Okay, just take these guys out before they can... Shoot enough shots to fill up the entire screen, and sweet. I love when you enter a room and your orbital is just good to go. Like, immediately facing the right, the proper direction. Don't want to say the right direction, because then you'll be confused why is, you know, what could be the left direction, I understand. We get the screw. We got two items on here. I think this is the perfect time to use uh, the dice shard. So you start. Grab mom's knife. Grab Guppy's head. We can fly now. Then, drop Bloody Penny. Just to get an extra reroll. And reroll these. We got Book of Belial, which I don't think is worth taking. But we did reroll into a key. And this key will allow us to get into our item room. So I think Guppy's head is the better play. And of course, I'm, I'm really thrilled to have Mom's knife here. The damage is going to be ridiculous. Uh, but we're still, in, in fact, not still, we're actually just low on HP now, so we do need to be sensible about this. We're about a minute ahead of schedule for boss rush, but I'd say we are in a situation now where I would be okay with going to boss rush and actually fighting the enemies. This run is very strong. And now this, in contrast to the last run where I was like, this run is fast and bad, this run is fast and great. So, uh, this, this might actually be my favorite run archetype in Isaac and if you're gonna get on my case about mom's knife I've turned mom's knife down so many times in the recent past in the interest of not cannibalizing a run that already had uh, sweet synergies this run did not really have sweet synergies it just had good tears so um, I don't I don't feel bad about taking mom's knife on this one at all I think it's a very in-character decision 
Now, obviously, shop. Pretty important for us here. Starter deck is good. Hoping for a teleport card. We can hold two cards. Take two of hearts. Take temperance. Uh, neither of which is really valuable for us, I suppose. But we got him. The Hierophant, much better. Maybe should have saved that in case we got blank card. But, you know, also who cares. Plenty of keys dropping here as well. Plenty of panties dropping because of our quality of play here. I think that's pretty much indisputable. I'm not saying that, you know, people are getting so excited by uh, our Isaac play that they're dropping their panties. I'm actually, you know, I think that we are sucking so much excitement out of the air. <coughs> that first off, it's making people sneeze. Secondly, it's creating like a little pressure vacuum that's so strong it's actually just sucking people's panties off of their body. It's a dangerous situation. It's like a little bit like a Sharknado. But, like, in reverse. It's like a shark tomato. Not tornado, a shark tom tomato. You say tornado, I say tomato. Sometimes when I'm in San Francisco, I go to tornado. Um, at this point, I've become an Isaac snob. Not just in general, but on this run. I'm like, I'm doing so much damage that when I encounter a room in which I can't just swing my knife once and kill everything, I'm like, oh, why does this game suck? Why does this game hate me? It's making me attack three times to kill a room with six enemies on it. Like, don't you know who I am? It's a little ridiculous. I mean, you've got to admit. But this is the most... This is the danger zone. You know, this is the zone where you let your guard down. Because you're like, we got an easy win. This is borderline McConaughey. You got an easy win, brother. That's it. I don't know. That was old McConaughey. Young McConaughey, that's like, all right, all right, all right. Chocolate pudding for lunch, buddy. That's, I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Oh, dude, I'm thrilled to have a uh, Krampus fight here. Get a free lump of coal that doesn't really do much for us, but doesn't take anything away from us either. What are we going to do with this dang temperance card? He'll be able to, like, D20 it or something in the future. Because as of right now, it's, you know, quite clearly not providing us with very much value. I'm wondering if we ever reach the point at which we just deliberately take damage when there's a lot of enemies on a room. In the hopes of getting, uh... No item room yet. In the hopes of getting more than the half black heart, or soon the full black heart that we, that we spent to, you know, trigger a Thame. Seems ill-advised, but I could be wrong. Chemical peel is... I'm not, I'm not worried about uh, range worm. Tapeworm, by the way. Uh, I think that it is relatively not good with Mom's Knife. I prefer the range pretty much exactly as I'm comfortable with right here. But uh, I wonder if we can get to the point where uh, a Thame works like that. And if it's tied to our luck stat, maybe. For now, though, next floor. 50-50 on boss rush. I think we could definitely pretty easily do it. Question is whether or not we want to. Tammy's head, mom's knife is historically pretty bad, but I continue to like consider it because I really like Tammy's head, and I think Tammy's head is. I mean, weirdly enough, I think Guppy's head is probably more well liked. Like, I never get backlash over Guppy's head, but sometimes people are like, "You take Tammy's head too much." Well, I I just I have to. Because it strikes me as it has potential for much cooler synergies. Of course, it's a real bummer when you, like, miss enemies. But, uh... You know, for two items that both have a one-room charge... I'm just hoping that maybe, like, with homing tears or something, we could, we could really make Tammy's head pop. Not in a weird way. Either way. Let, let's throw a little bit of uncertainty into this run with the Tammy's head pickup, because we know that... You know, it's it's fairly certain in pretty much all other avenues. Emperor is our teleport card. Um, we're pretty set on this run, if that makes sense. And it should, because that's, you know, just basically plain English. But um, well, let's throw in a little bit of a possibility of discovering something. You know, a possibility of a small, like, little learning exercise here. And Spider Bum is fine, but it's a known quantity. You know what it does. Tammy's head... 
who knows if maybe there's a, a brilliant synergy residing in here that we don't know about. And of course, all of this is immediately going to fall by the wayside because I'm going to take Diplopia, at least temporarily. Um, if we get a better teleportation card, we might be able to work around this. But Diplopia into Boss Rush is uh, very obvious. You know, it's a very common way to handle things. And let's just go do that right now. This is a very fun way to use this item. So Mom's foot is going to be the death of her here. It's gout, man. Take the Polaroid and guppy items. Guppy items, guppy items. I'll take a Joker card. Hero font's pretty good. And a Joker card. Sweet. So that's another teleporter. But both the Joker and the Emperor do exactly the same thing for us here, roughly. Soy milk. If we hadn't taken Mom's knife, we would have had the opportunity to take soy milk. So I'll, I'll go with you on that one. I think we don't use Diplopia here. We could use Diplopia. We get two leeches and then... Double Explosivo, but what does Explosivo do for us here? I don't think very much. So I think we actually save Diplopia, possibly use it on the chest. And uh, it might seem like I'm, you know, copping out or something like that, but it, it's not a good choice. If we get, like, a beautiful boss rush that has items that are worth doubling, I love using Diplopia, but in this situation, what we, we're going to double soy milk. And then not be able to fire our knife at all. Like, what's what's the point? We've got to look for these meaningful synergies that actually, you know, provide us with some value. Well, let's hope we're never going back in that direction again. I mean, double explosivo might, and it is a might with a capital M, which means, mm, if I'm being honest with you, I really think it probably doesn't. But um, yes, that starts with an M. Did you not hear the protracted mm, before it? By the way, if you're not Canadian, you may not know that. There was a uh, very famous Canadian muffin franchise in the 90s. My dad's a big muffin fan. He would always go to mm, muffins. It was How do you spell that? It was just muffins with like five M's at the, at the start of the word. For real. There's got to be a Wikipedia article. I've never wikipedia it. But if you can... Canadian mm, 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 muffins, go look it up. I want to know what happened to them. I'm going to be looking up what happened to the mm, muffins chain after this. They were probably bought by, like, you know, yum food brands, the people who own KFC Taco Bell, and then dismantled. Because I feel like muffins, you know, they were big in the, you know, the Seinfeld era. We've kind of moved past them now. Everyone's into croissants and, you know, pan au chocolat and stuff like that. Donuts are making an artisanal comeback. But muffins are kind of like, you know, muffins got thrown under the bus. People thought muffins were a healthier form of breakfast, and then eventually they felt betrayed when they were like, muffins are actually like cake. Now people are eating cake for breakfast, being like, well, the, you know, planet Earth is doomed anyway. And Elon Musk says we all live in a simulation that, uh, you know, a higher intelligent species is running at all possible times. So, you know what? I'm going to eat my fucking cake for breakfast. Breakfast this morning, I had a 40-ounce uh, serving of Jim Beam whiskey and then some birthday cake for my kid's birthday party. This is how you know it's a hypothetical story. First off, if I had consumed 40 ounces of Jim Beam whiskey, do you trust me to be able to put together the diction with which I have in the same cadence and level of passion? Probably not. Probably just be doing my Nick Nolte impression intentionally or otherwise. Yeah, let's take it. Um, the other one being that, of course, we do not have a child. Or children, for that matter. I, I still don't think there's value in Diplopia here. There's no reason to get two brimstones. We can use it on the chest later. I do think we obviously want to do this and then this. And I don't think it matter which order we did that in, in the end. But, uh, yeah. I do like that. And, um, we could double deal with the devil items to get them for free. Or, we could consider maybe, uh, just go in for the flow. Using, uh, Diplopia on the chest and getting another four free items or doubling the ones that we're interested in. AWAS, we'll just check. If we get something valuable there. It's been a long time since we fucked up a run really badly by going to the wrong floor. That's nice. Feels good. Red chest. Pandora's box. Hate to do it like this, but Diplopia is much more valuable for us. We could have taken that to the cathedral, but would you rather have one deal with the angel item or all the emergent gameplay that could possibly come with Pandora's box? If you answered, you know, one deal with the angel item, I mean... I want you managing my stock portfolio, because you seem very risk-averse, but I don't think it's the right strategy for, you know, enjoyment's sake right now. Joker Strength, Joker High Priestess, I mean, 
there is a there is a meaningful difference in that Joker um, strength gives us a play on the deal with the devil, but I don't know, I'm not really overly concerned about it either way. Now I will say, I think our uh, Diplopia Hush hypothetical is going to remain a hypothetical. I don't think that I have the kind of HP that warrants it right now. Wow, just walk right into the enemy. At least we got uh, HP back for it. I mean, it's 100% my own fault. You know what? That was it was intentional damage. I took that damage with um, KMB and Conception in mind. And look at that. Now we got Succubus. That's why, <laughs> compared to a lot of people, I may have Succubus valued higher. Or sorry, I may have... Um, well, I probably have Succubus higher too. But I may have um, uh, KMB and Conception ranked a little higher. Mostly because uh, I understand... To thine own self be true. And I uh, probably take a little bit more damage than, than some of you out there. Although I do think at this point, you know, the surviving members of the people who play Isaac on a regular basis, I gotta be up there just by definition, you know, just by default, effectively, still kicking it here. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, we, we're doing okay for ourselves. But KB in Conception usually works out pretty well for us. You know, we, we pay the three spirit hearts. Or the one red heart, I think, in this case it was. And then later, we get a deal with the Devil Familiar. And Succubus is real good. Uh, Incubus is real good. You know, we're doing pretty well here. I think we just... I mean, I know you're not even like, huge fans of this, but we're going to check this out. Ooh, you know what? Suddenly, everything has changed. I still don't think we're going to go fight. Uh... <laughs> I still don't think we're going to go fight... Uh, hush though and again we could have popped diplopia gotten all those items for free saved ourselves six spirit arts and gotten the spirit arts from abaddon and then gone to fight hush um and i think that that is a viable strat but rather than getting those items for free i'm gonna try to make it work on the uh on the chest and i really think it's you know one of them might be a 60 percent play one of them might be a 40 percent play but I like this I like this opportunity more you may disagree and that's okay that's why we put the seed out there you know in the start of the video and uh, you know you you can play through yourself and make your own decisions if you disagree with me play it through for yourself if you can beat those train wreck seeds you know that's a, it's a genuine test of your Isaac skill and if you can do that you know you can get into my Isaac Academy without a doubt mostly because you know we need faculty to teach me. the eyes. I'm the only student at the Isaac Academy. And tuition's free. Uh, all teachers are volunteers. It's really a good deal for the student. Who is me. Uh, okay, so get ready to use Diplopia. The student in me is the teacher from you. What I learn is my choice. Okay. So I think you open them first and then you Diplopia... What do we want two of here? Nothing. <laughs> so we're going to pick up all four. Does Monstro's Lung work with this, by the way? Yeah, weirdly enough. And then we're going to get four new items with Diplopia. And these ones will look a little bit more my speed. Taurus is kind of fun. Cancer item is going to be really good for us. Uh, and Maggie's Bow will just ignore. But sure, um, probably would have been better off having the six Spirit Hearts. Uh, and and then maybe going and doing the hush fight, but again, that's why you make those plays. You know, their their percentages, their chances, and I still think we got some good stuff out of this. Some stuff that you know genuinely genuinely does transform the run at least slightly. This is going to be a, a very very strong one, and it's win seventeen. Nothing to sneeze at there. So we've gotten like twenty five, thirty seven, seventeen. This isn't just my locker combination in high school. It's also uh, a pretty good, consistent track record here over the past few months. So I'm very excited by it. Oh my god, we found our boss fight already. And I really cannot complain about this one. This one popped off pretty much from the get-go. Empty, Starting with Empty Vessel and no HP, so Empty Vessel's immediately enabled. Too strong. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun one. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.